Okay, so let's talk about China. China's going through a lot of, they're, they're inventors, okay? You wanna, we appreciate if you're an inventor. Now, it comes from the father. You know, our father's a creator. It gets interesting though, when you start to create things that would seek to replace things that are made by God already, naturally. Uh, such as China's latest invention. Check this out. China builds an artificial sun. An artificial sun, folks. China builds an artificial sun that can hit temperatures of 180 million degrees. What? Why would you need a sun to go that big? China builds an artificial sun that can hit temperatures of 180 million degrees F uh, Fahrenheit in its quest uh, to produce near limitless cheap energy. Oh dear. It says here, the state of the art machine is designed to replicate the processes of the sun. It hit a landmark this week when it reached 180 million degrees Fahrenheit for the first time. This is believed to be the temperature at which nuclear fusion occurs. China has built an artificial sun that reaches temperature six times that of the core of our closest star. These people are insane. How are they able to do that without blowing China up? Anyway, the state-of-the-art reactor, it's a reactor, folks, and I got a picture of it. Here it is right here. The state-of-the-art reactor uh, is designed to replicate the processes of the sun as part of a project to turn hydrogen into cost-effective green energy. It says here it reached a key milestone this week when it hit 100 and mi 180 million degree Fahrenheit for the first time, which is believed to be the temperature at which nuclear fusion occurs. Scientists across the globe are locked in a race to build the world's first operational nuclear fusion reactor. The Victor will unlock a source of near limitless clean energy worth billions that some believe could save the planet from the climate change crisis. Scientists at the China's Hefei Institutes of Physical Science announced their fusion machine reached uh, 180 million degrees Fahrenheit again. Uh, these particles normally repel each other, they say, and enormous temperatures are required to overcome their opposing forces. The goal of the team's experiment to advance superconducting tokamak, also known as East, as in Kings of the East, is to better understand the process of fusion ahead of building a full reactor. Nuclear fusion reactors work very differently to fission reactors because they fuse two nuclei rather than splitting them apart. The process promises a, a, you know, a vast resource of cheap energy and is far safer than fusion, producing almost no dangerous nuclear waste. A practical fusion reactor must not only be capable, they say, of sustaining extreme temperatures, but also remain stable at these temperatures for longer periods of time. Have you ever seen the movie Geostorm? The Senate committee will now hear from Jacob Lawson, Climate ISS Chief Coordinator. May the record reflect that he was nearly one hour late. Yeah, sorry about that. I literally had to fly in from outer space. Thanks to the system of satellites, natural disasters have become a thing of the past. We can control our weather. Mr. President, one of our thermospheric satellites malfunctioned over Afghanistan. So your proposal is what? We shut down all satellites. I don't need to remind all of you how many people died from catastrophic climate conditions. Make sure there's no further incidents. My access has been blocked. So satellite has a bad comm, that happens. Not a satellite, all of them. This wasn't a malfunction. It was intentional. There's potential for catastrophic weather events on a global scale. A geostorm. We have to shut the system down. The only one who has the kill codes is the president. I need your help. You're soliciting a secret service agent. Seriously? We're kidnapping the president in a self-driving cab. If you can't stop it, no one can. Three. Two. One. Come on, baby. 
If you've not seen it, I'd highly recommend it. Now, I also highly recommend that if you see any of these movies that you uh, get them, um, uh, what's it, filtered. We, we use what's called VidAngel. VidAngel, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an online filter because when we do watch a movie, we watch it from online. It's all fancy nowadays. And it takes out all the swear words, takes out all the um, maybe promiscuity, you know, that it typically can be found in movies, all the drugs and the sex and alcohol. It takes all of it out, skips right over. It's really cool. Uh, so, but I would recommend watching that movie because it showcases something that I believe is already in the works uh, for the uh, planet and uh, part of, you know, the United Nations Agenda 2030 on how they're wanting to maintain a sustainable uh, society. What's it? They're trying to maintain what's called a sustainable development in today's society because of the, what they see as a bigger threat than even nuclear war, which is climate change. And so they are, uh, you know, they're seeking to manipulate weather. They're seeking to control weather, just like we have the World Wide Web. And it's a very interesting movie because it talks about, um, uh, you know, they, they would actually put a web type of uh, fake atmosphere uh, to control the storms, um, you, know, when, you know, to control the seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall, until it gets out of hand, something breaks, basically, and it becomes a geostorm. All these storms, apocalyptic, of biblical proportions, come and virtually destroy the planet. It's quite fascinating. So this is, you know, we reported on their artificial moon that they're going to be using to illuminate the night, I believe in Shanghai, of China. Uh, they are creating a lot of artificials. And these are, you know, this is a sign of the times. Make no mistake about it. A sign of the times. Genetically modified things. Organisms modify the sun, the moon, the stars. Create an illusion of the reality in an attempt to redefine truth. Condition, to, you know, condition the mind to ask what is real, what is not. Accept the false as the truth, thus you'll be ready to accept the mark of the beast and the Antichrist as the Messiah. This is where we're at in these last days.